And next up, we have Dave Knowles in the red uniform, and uh, he wrestles for John Cook at Elgin High School. And his opponent is uh, Enzo Vitsa, who, uh, Frank, you're, you're just telling me, he wrestled at Curtis High School for Dave Muir, and he's just enrolled at the University of Guelph. Is that right? Finished his semester at the end of January, and he's enrolled at the university now, going to train with, uh, uh, with well. Carlo Cassap. Well. And we have both wrestlers now moving around. The referee is signaling for a caution because he deems that one wrestler is intentionally going off the mat or is being pushed off. He's, he's cautioning the red wrestler for pushing blue off the mat. So uh, Dave Knowles has one caution against. There's a nice takedown by Enzo. That's good, good technique there. He allowed... Uh Oh, Enzo's uh, in trouble now. Well, he got his head down too low. And how many times have we warned our guys about that when you have the legs in? Enzo now has a leg ride in on Dave Knowles, and again, he's working on the head, trying to turn him to his back for two points. So anything past, uh, turn the shoulders past 90 degrees to the mat, and uh, he can score yeah. two points. Again, there. he's a little high on it, Frank. He hasn't got the good leverage on the back. He's going to slide out. He's, yeah, he looks like he's going to... He might be better just coming out of that and starting over again. Now, both of these uh, wrestlers have uh, products of excellent coaching systems. Dave Muir, of course, a former high school champion and a uh, longtime wrestler at the University of Western Ontario. And John Cook, a uh, former OSA champion uh, and one of the more prominent Greco-Roman wrestlers of a few years ago. So, well, that's right. So and expect to see some good technique. He didn't quite get his hips into that one. Enzo again trying for the throw. And that time, Dave Knowles trying for the throw. Maybe we uh, see a little more of the, of the Greco-Roman influence in this match. I think both of these guys are looking at uh, trying to throw as opposed to using leg attacks. Uh, no points awarded there. The score is still 1-0 uh, for Enzo. Now, Dave Knowles trying to penetrate, and, and Enzo, of course, is countering. Uh, low percentage move there by Enzo Frank. He didn't have any hips in, uh, into nope. that move at all. Didn't yeah. set it up, and seemed it cost him. It cost him two points. Seemed to be too anxious to score, and now he's going over for two more, and he's and going two over more. for two more. Now again. That is a very, very tight leg ride. Just cost him six points. And rather than sticking the leg in and trying to turn him, Frank, uh, he's really just uh, trying to tilt him. It looks dangerous, you know, but I see the referees in position, and uh, as long as it's going toward the side, he's pulling the leg toward the side, and not not along the long axis yeah. of the back. There's no real difficulty. No, there that. isn't. Uh, I, I agree with you 100%. Uh, the, uh, our high school and uh, university wrestlers are getting more and more sophisticated. They're going to compete on an international basis. There have to be a little more risk in some of the moves. Yes. Well, it'll be interesting to see what he calls here. Uh, I don't think he's going to award any points no. on that one because there was no exposure prior to, prior to going out of bounds. Well, in the, the score now is... Um, we've, got, we've got a cameraman in front of our scoreboard. It's 3-1 to to one, three to one for, um, for Knowles. 3-1 to one for Knowles. Uh, the red wrestler from Elgin over uh, Enzo Vitsa of... Uh, of, I guess we should say Guelph at this point. I think so. It'll be interesting to see how Enzo improves when he gets to Guelph on a, and starts training there on a more regular basis. Well, it looks like uh, Dave Knowles has uh, sustained some kind of an injury. Uh, Frank, it's hard to tell what it is, what it is from here. Well, but uh, the score. Uh, yeah, I think uh, looking uh, looking at the scoreboard, we get a much better shot of it now. The score looks as, uh, like it's nine to nine, one. Nine to one for so they So they did award two points every time he turned yes, with that leg ride. Yeah, that surprised me. I thought maybe they just would have awarded the two, but it looks as though they're going to go with a continuous movement. Well, it's inconsistent that uh, with some kinds of technique, for instance, uh, the gut wrench, you can only score two points, and yet you can take uh, this leg tilt that uh, Dave Knowles just uh, utilized and scored six points on it. Yeah. There should be more consistency, wouldn't you agree? Well, I think so, and I, I would suspect that before the year's over, we'll see the rules change to try and bring some consistency. Okay, the score is 9-1 to one for Dave Knowles of Elgin over Enzo Vitsa of, uh, of Curtis. And uh, Dave Knowles, again, uh, not willing to sit on that eight-point lead, is penetrating very, very deeply, and... Enzo uh, may have scored points on that had that board not been there. He certainly attempted yeah. that takedown. Boy, there. And some disagreement over the call. I see uh, the one referee wanted to give two to Red, but I think it was Enzo's move, and I think that was the right call well, not to give any points. It was overruled by the Matt chairman. However, both judge and referee 
agreed, and they have put two points up Boy. for Dave Knowles. Uh, I have to question that one, Frank. I gotta, I gotta go with the Matt Chairman on that one. But there should not have been points. However, Enzo, Enzo seems to be flailing here a little bit. He see, maybe his nerves are bad, or he just doesn't seem to have his competitive uh, composure set here. I've seen him wrestle much better than this. Well, in all fairness, he's made a transition from high school to university now, and that's got to affect you psychologically, and maybe he hasn't been training regularly. Being uh, being a new student, okay. He's playing the percentages now. Uh, Enzo went behind, got a point. The score well, is now 11 to two. Well, we'll see if he can score from here. Well, I, I, the problem now, of course, the clock, he's working against the clock as well. He may have to put Dave Knowles on his back and keep him there. I mean, uh, he may have to pin him to win this match. Well, he's got a, a nine-point deficit to overcome now. Well, I don't, it doesn't look to me like he's in good enough position here to turn Knowles. Knowles seems to have a pretty wide base. And then he does. Back, I think Enzo's got the leg right on the wrong leg. I mean, he's putting the half on the right-hand side, and he's got his leg right on the left-hand side, and he's working at cross purposes. Yeah, he hasn't, hasn't got the leverage there. Now the referee is determined again. There's not a, a lot happening in the down position, so we're standing them up. Well, Enzo's got to go for some upper body throws here to try and put I uh, I, I, I agree back. with you, and uh, Noel's recognizing that has decided to, uh, to stay with, uh, to stay aggressive and take the initiative, and he scores another point. Good tactics. Very good tactics. That's got to be and Here somewhat, comes that leg uh, right again. Let's see if he gets two or six more He's on that. He's going to take the chin. Chin and roll for he two. He got two, and we're going for another two here. You're right, Frank. There's a, I'm looking at the knee joint here, Enzo Enzo's yeah. knee, and uh, there is pressure on the knee, but... Um, it's not to the side where it could be yeah. damaging to the uh, to the ligaments. And we've uh, just scored another four points. The score is now 16 to 2. And I think Enzo banged his head on the chair over there, Lou, where the, where the judge is sitting. I mean, he's holding well, his I, head. And uh, I certainly hope I certainly hope that's not the case. Whether he hit his head or he's he's just holding it because he's a little bit dismayed that he's that uh, that one moves cost him ten points. Yeah. And 16 Tulu, one more point for Knowles, and the mercy rule comes into into effect, and the match will be over. 15 point difference. Score is now 14. The, uh, the oh, correct 14. score at this point is 14 to three. When you have so many points happening so often, uh, it's easy to lose track of them. Enzo's ready to go. There, they, I like to see that, Frank. Let's Good. shake hands and yes. get on with it. Yeah. And here we go. He knows what he has to do now. He can't. He can't sit back and let Dave Knowles continue to be the aggressor. Good high now, crotch there by Good high by crotch, Knowles. but a good a good counter by Enzo. He's got that. He's got to hang on to that ankle and keep that hand out there for a post and hope at least he can achieve a stalemate here. Yeah. Now he may try a little ankle work of his own here. Yeah. Looks like he's going but to try and uh, stretch Knowles out and work behind for a point. Now, now the Matt Chairman and the judge are singling uh, stalemate. for a stalemate. Let's stand them up and start again. So that's a move in the right direction for Enzo in that he countered uh, Dave's attempt at a leg attack, but still we haven't seen a lot of, uh, of aggressive takedown work. That's a better move. Yes, a shuck. Much better. A shuck. And, and stuck a leg in, got a point. Now take the leg right and come over. He, he's got, now he's taking him the right yeah, way, Lou. He's right. got the, the arch Absolutely. and the roll to the right side. Now he's coming back to this side, yeah. trying that same move. It hasn't worked for him at all during the match. No. Now the referee is uh, uh, waving it off. Is that time? That's time. Okay, time 14 is 14-4. 14-4 for Dave Knowles of Elgin over Enzo Vitsa of Curtis Guelph. Disappointing loss, I'm sure, for Enzo. But again, that uh, we, we talked about that transitionary period from high school to, to university. Yeah, he'll